Blessed be the hour. My old friend, I've come to talk with you again.
this! See, your future is very grim. Barmaid is as kind as she is strong, and these two qualities rarely go hand in hand. She's been caring for me as if we were family, and not once has she complained. I've visited dozens of inns, and believe me, such places are to any village what a hearth is to a house. If the innkeeper has a stout heart, none despair even if the times are dire. That's what she does for this community, if you ask me. Unfortunately, she seems to have befriended that woman, and even learns her craft, that which corrupts everything she touches. So just to be on the safe side, I'm guarding this well. There seems to be some antipathy between the sage and the fortune teller. You would do well to pay no heed to what they say about each other. Old age brings many burdens that can make one's heart bitter. As for their adventurous tales, I have yet to see any evidence of their deeds, so I'm afraid the passing years might have weakened their minds which now drift towards the fantastical. Who knows, they might even believe in the things they're describing so vividly. Hmm, now that I think of it, their quarrels might be a facade. Years spent in the monastery made me quite observant, so either I'm growing old too, or they might have something more going on. Do you remember how we used to play, lying in the grass, watching the clouds and guessing our future from their shapes? We saw many strange things, but I never suspected what fate had in store for us. Running an inn isn't that bad. At least, 
It wasn't until the dark rituals. Now, everyone's afraid of being eaten by some nasty creature. Some people even ponder suicide. And just look at our garden. We used to grow all sorts of vegetables and herbs. But now, the soil is poisoned with dark magic, and demons trample everything with their hooves. Ah, but complaining doesn't make anything better. I still get a lot of help from the sage. He may be cranky at times, but he has always treated me like a daughter. And then there's the fortune teller. She's a fascinating woman, and I'm very lucky to learn from her. And now you're back. <laughs>